back to another episode of you got it, Shot Glass Cooking with Brittany. My name is Brittany Miller. I am based out of Orlando, Florida, and you can catch me here every Monday for a new meal prep idea. Now, meal prepping doesn't always have to be lunch or just dinner. Sometimes meal prepping is just getting it right the first time. And so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to meal prep a nice big old pot roast. And it's easy as one, two, three. And so here are your lovely ingredients. First thing you're gonna need is a three pound boneless chuck roast beef. This is about 10 garlic cloves. Gonna need, uh, this is just two uh, stalks of celery. I just cut in, uh, in half, so it gives you your four pieces. This is a sliced up half onion. This right here is a winner. This is your McCormick's slow cooking pot roast seasoning. So like half the job is done and a beer. So you might be thinking, well, Brittany, if I got the seasoning, what do I need all of this for? Well, the reason is because, baby, this is Shot Glass Cooking with Brittany, and we don't do basic. So you just sit right there, and I'm going to show you how to put all these ingredients together and show you how to take this packet up a notch so you have you a nice, savory meal for the week. So the first things first, you're gonna need your crock pot, okay? All right, so here is my big old piece of meat. Remember, this is three pounds. And I'm just gonna just put it in there, just like that. Okay. Next, here are my onions. This is a sliced up half an onion. Come just re-break it up. So all the flavors can get everywhere. Got my of celery, dropping that in there. See how meal prepping is so easy? You don't have to do a whole lot. I'm just kind of picking and tossing, picking and tossing. This is my garlic cloves. Okay. My seasonings. Okay. And I'm just going to just pour the whole packet in there. Right on top and so this is what I'm looking like right now I'm kind of peeking over <laughs> now I'm gonna put mine with the beer cooking with beer honestly just adds a lot of flavor and also keeps your food nice and tenderized I'm not gonna add any water I'm just gonna add this entire beer in here I'm gonna add it all the way until it covers. You know, some of your best big time barbecuers are always cooking with beer. Beer is the secret here, people. Okay, so I've got all this in here. Now, let's say you're like, well, Brittany, I don't really like beer. I don't like beer in my meat. I don't really care for it at all. I don't like even the thought of beer being near my food. That's not a problem. If you want to cook it down with water, put just a little bit. Like I'm talking about a less than like half a cup of water because another thing when you're cooking with your crock pot, the water that's already in your meat is going to start to come out and fill it up. And you don't want your meat to water down. So one thing I've seen is if you take your crock pot and you're putting meat in there and you're like, okay, I'm gonna make the water or put enough water in there for it to cover the meat, you've watered your meat down. That's why you might be losing some flavor, but you do use a little bit of water, just a little bit, and then let it do its thing. And like, honey, I'm about to be doing mine. So, if you're gonna be leaving the house, heading to work, on that Monday, just go ahead and click this on high for uh, eight hours. Uh, I'm sorry, low. <laughs> Cook it for low for eight hours. But if you're gonna be you're like, I need this quick, I don't really have that much time, you can cook this on high for at least four to five hours. Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna plug my baby up. Myself, I'm gonna be cooking it on high for four hours because I'm ready to eat this bad boy in just a few hours for my dinner. Then after that, I'm gonna eat my piece and I'm stacking away and I don't have to think about dinner for the next few days because it is all 
ready, done. Thank you guys for coming back by my page. You can always catch me here, Shot Glass Cooking with Brittany. Make sure that you are looking out for catering. It'll be Broad Eyes Catering by Brittany so I can bring all my lovely ideas straight to your event so you can eat like a boss too. Make sure, as always, you like this page, you share this page, put some comments. And if you make this and you like this recipe, let me know. And if you do pot roast a different way, honey, let me know. So we can all be hooked up because all about what they say is sharing is caring.